Onlookers are ejected from city council chambers following the passage of a plan to transform Alamo Plaza. Following criticism, Bear County backtracks on a plan to reduce its constables. And Boudreaux's Texas Bistro on the Riverwalk shows its age. If you've ever wondered what it's like to eat dinner aboard a cruise ship in dry dock, consider Boudreaux's. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Friday, August 31st. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. At a tense, sometimes raucous meeting that lasted just 35 minutes. Thursday evening, a Citizens Advisory Committee endorsed a plan to transform Alamo Plaza, a move that riled some of the 150 spectators who waved signs and shouted in protest. With about a dozen people in the audience eventually escorted out of the city council chambers by police. The Alamo Citizen Advisory Committee approved seven resolutions supporting key concepts of the Alamo site plan, including street closures, a new Fiesta parade route, relocation of the Cenotaph, changing pedestrian access to the plaza, demolition of historic buildings, and an agreement with the Texas General Land Office to manage the city-owned plaza. The Alamo site plan will now be reviewed by a six-member management committee, then an executive panel composed of Ron Nierberg and Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush, before being subject to city advisory board reviews and a vote by the city council that could come as early as October. Following criticism for last week's budget proposal, Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf says he has decided not to cut positions from county constables' offices, noting that he won't support a proposal that creates discord between the constables and the sheriff's office. The proposed fiscal 2019 budget called for cutting 15 positions from the county's four constable offices for a savings of $967,000, while at the same time awarding 16 patrol officers to the sheriff's office. Commissioner Paul Elizondo says he was able to get the county auditor to certify additional funding to save the positions rather than cutting elsewhere in the budget, but did note that the budget office's numbers indicate that constable workloads are declining and therefore the positions are able to be removed. However, as constables say those numbers are not accurate, Elizondo says he plans to make a motion to study the discrepancy over the next year. And Boudreaux's Texas Bistro on the Riverwalk shows both tradition and stagnation. Hi, I'm Mike Sutter, the restaurant critic for the Express News. Today we're going to talk about Boudreaux's Texas Bistro on the Riverwalk. Now, if you've ever wondered what it's like to eat dinner aboard a cruise ship in dry dock, consider Boudreaux's. Crowds of tourists in shorts clamoring for seats along the deck, drinking bright pink margaritas, and ordering from a surf and turf menu that swirls with sauces and steaks from a wood-fired grill. Good start, right? I did like a faux gras appetizer made with chicken liver and olive tapenade, and I like the chili fried gulf oysters that come on yucca chips with pineapple pico de gallo. But I was let down by mushy tuna tartare on fried tostadas and duck three ways that was a glazed leg quarter, a spring roll, and an enchilada. Lots of spectacle, but not enough respect for the star of the show, the duck. What you'll probably hear most about from Boudreaux's is that tableside guacamole, and rightfully so. Assembled on the spot by your waiter using avocados, oranges, limes, onions, tomatoes, fresh jalapeno, and roasted chiles depending on your heat tolerance. The wood-fired grill was a mixed blessing, a great sirloin, some gorgeous lamb chops, but a ribeye left almost raw and a filet of corvina grilled to a dense knob. Now the service experience is super friendly, almost too familiar for a nice place, but you get the impression that everybody is just hanging on by their fingertips against the nonstop customer tide. Now for the rest of this review, please go to expressnews.com slash food. 
and that's your daily San Antonio Express News Briefing for Friday, August 31st. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.